ban on Huawei is killing China's Silicon Valley, Shenzhen, and it will eventually cripple the Chinese economy. The Donald Trump-led crusade against Huawei and other Chinese tech companies is killing the Chinese economy. In fact, it may have already drawn first blood in the form of Shenzhen, China's own Silicon Valley located in the communist country's southeastern province of Guangdong. The South China Morning Post has in fact reported US sanctions on China's Huawei spell trouble for Shenzhen economy. The report suggests that the demise of Huawei's global ambitions would cut Shenzhen to size. And after all, Huawei is not the only company facing setbacks across the world, rather all major Chinese tech companies are facing some kind of issues that could collectively bring down China's tech and innovation hub Shenzhen. Ironically, Shenzhen is staring at a major setback ahead of its 40th anniversary as one of China's first four special economic zones. Historically, a fishing village, Shenzhen had failed to make a mark even after it was established as a special economic zone under the then Chinese President Deng Xiaoping's reform and opening up plan. However, Shenzhen Shenzhen's fortunes changed in 1987 when Ren Zhengfei, a Chinese People's Liberation Army veteran, established Huawei there. The southeastern Chinese city grew at a breakneck speed that came to be known as Shenzhen Speed. Almost three decades hence, Huawei has emerged as China's biggest so-called private company and Shenzhen's prized jewel. Huawei also became China's only global telecom company with a staggering annual revenue of 123 billion US dollars. Today, the biggest of Chinese tech giants, including the genome sequencing company BGI, China's premier electric IT and automobiles company BYD, gaming and communications tech giant Tencent, China's largest listed telecom company ZTE, and the global telecom firm Huawei are all based out of Shenzhen. However, Huawei leads the pack. Huawei is to the Shenzhen what Apple Inc. is to the Silicon Valley of the United States of America. In fact, Huawei's dominance in Shenzhen exceeds Apple's dominance in the Silicon Valley. Huawei is the single largest contributor to Shenzhen's GDP. As of 2016, the global 5G tech giant accounted for about 7% of the city's economic output. Huawei overshadows other tech giants like Tencent and BYD, which are also headquartered in Shenzhen. And not just the Shenzhen tech economy. Huawei has also helped the southeast Chinese city emerge as the center of China's programming and engineering talent. The telecom company has a reputation for rewarding both bright minds and hard-working individuals in the tech sector. But the Shenzhen speed fueled by Huawei is bound to face some severe roadblocks ahead, as Huawei, which fueled Shenzhen's staggering growth itself, runs into trouble. For the past two years or so, the Trump administration has been trying hard to get Huawei eliminated from the biggest smartphone markets in the world over security concerns. Consequently, Washington has also managed to rule Huawei Huawei out of the 5G race in countries like Australia, India and the United Kingdom. Huawei's future also looks bleak in countries like France, Germany and Brazil. Moreover, President Trump's recent decision to effectively prohibit Huawei and its affiliates from buying semiconductors has even made the Chinese telecom giant's survival difficult. Beijing itself is panicked with the thought of the damage that Huawei's downfall would inflict on Shenzhen. Liu Keiming, director of the Institute of contemporary observation in Shenzhen said, There is no other company in China that can replace Huawei to lead the country's tech and globalization. Kaiming wondered, if Huawei can't withstand US sanctions, who can? And then Shenzhen's troubles are hardly limited to the American onslaught against Huawei. Other Chinese tech giants aren't facing any respite either, like Tencent, which owns the popular Chinese social media app WeChat. Recently, Trump signed an executive order that bars American companies from transacting on WeChat. Trump is looking to ban WeChat, much like TikTok. This comes as a body blow for Tencent, China's second largest tech company. Moreover, ZTE itself, being a telecom equipment giant, is facing the same issues as Huawei. That is, security concerns within the US and Trump's bid to decouple from China. It is the same situation with BYD, an undisputed leader in Chinese IT, automobiles and new energy technology, as countries like Japan, the US, Australia and India are also trying to topple China in the new energy market. And to top it all, the US is cracking down on Chinese spies who are instrumental in stealing American intellectual property. 
Countries across the world have also come to realize that China is robbing them of their intellectual wealth through its Thousand Talents plan. Therefore, Shenzhen will no longer be able to illegally tap into research and innovation happening in other parts of the world. For the past few decades, Shenzhen has remained the epitome of Chinese economic growth. Last year, Shenzhen's economy surpassed even Hong Kong's. But as the Chinese tech ambitions crash, Shenzhen could be the first casualty in what is likely to be a long-term process of the Chinese economy's dramatic demise.